All right, welcome to our video here on volume with known cross sections. Um, what we're going to be doing in this video is starting with integrating a function so we can find its area, <clears throat> and then um, it really not really say integrating that, but starting with the area and then integrating the area to find volume. Okay, because you start with a one-dimensional piece, if you integrate it, you get area. So if you integrate area, you get volume. So we're going to be learning about how to find volume through integration. So our first technique for this one is using cross sections. So essentially what's going to end up happening is, let's just say that I find, here's area because it's flat, it's a piece of paper. All right, I'm going to find the area of this piece of paper through integration. Now this could be a function, so it could be all squiggly and whatever. And let's say that I want its cross section to be semicircles. So then I, what I would do with this flat piece of paper, which you can kind of see right here, is then if it's semicircles, then it would all of a sudden raise up. It would make a figure kind of sort of like this. And we would just find the volume of this figure all the way um, through. So that's really all we are doing today is finding volume. Okay, so in order to find volume, we need to first find area. So here are our formula. So if we're taking cross sections that are perpendicular to the x-axis, then our formula is going to be the integral from a to b of the area with respect to x dx. And if they're perpendicular to the y-axis, <clears throat> then we're going to go from c to d. c to d typically represents that we're going from high to low, or sorry, from low to high. And this is going to be area with respect to y, dy. Okay? So all we're going to do is find the area of whatever we have and then integrate that to find the volume. Okay? So let's just look at this example right here. It just says setup, so which is totally great. We don't need to find it. Um, and actually, I will just go through and solve it. These are, for the most part, all going to be calculator problems. So here we go. So let's go ahead and set up the integral needed to find the volume whose solid base is the area bounded by the line, so between these two lines right here, and cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis, which means we're using this formula right here. We're using a dx, okay? <clears throat> In the following shapes, we're going to make rectangles with height of 4, and then we'll do semicircles. So the first one is going to be rectangles. So real quick, I do want to sketch this. So before I, I want to sketch this with by making a nice axis right here. So, I'll make the axes something like this. Okay. So, I'm doing x squared. I'll do that in blue right here. So, it's at the origin up 1 over 1, over 2, up 4, over 3, up 9. So just above right here. And there you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and sketch this. Um, I'll do this in pink. So I, that's blue. And then in pink, I'll do the line, which starts at 3, has a slope of negative 2. So I'm going to go through there. So you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Um, so essentially, I'm trying to find the I'll highlight it in orange. I'm trying to find this is the area here in orange. Okay, so I'm trying to make this into a volume by making it a rectangle with height of four. So you can see it's flat right here, but what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to, so you can kind of see it's flat on the webcam, right? Best I can do it. It's flat right now. And then I actually want to make rectangles with height of 4 so that the figure uh, would become 3D. So, well, how do we do that? So, what's the area of a rectangle? So, for a rectangle, area is base times height. In this case, our base is this right here, is orange. So our base is going to be the orange guy. So actually, I have orange marker, I think. <clears throat> so this base is going to be pink minus blue. So this is going to be negative 2x plus 3. 
minus blue, which is going to be x squared. So that's my base, and it says I want a height of 4, so my height is going to be times 4. So this is my area right here. Okay, so I'll write this so it looks a little bit nicer and neater. It's 4 times, um, I don't have my numbers, it's 2x plus 3 minus x squared. So I'm going to integrate this from, well, I found the intersection here, so I'm going to go from negative 3 all the way to 1 of 4, negative 2x plus 3 minus x squared dx, and that is going to go ahead and give us um, our volume of this shape where if it had rectangles with height of 4. It, just kind of imagine. I use the imagination a little bit. Um, let's say that I go ahead and uh, do this in the calculator. Just to save a little bit of time here, I'm just going to write down the answer. It's going to be 42.667 units cubed. Okay, semicircles. So let's talk about what's the area of a semicircle. The area of a semicircle is one half pi times radius squared. So what's the radius of each of these? So the radius is going to change as we go through. So the radius for this problem right here is actually half of my orange. Because my entire orange from blue to pink for just, let's say that this little part right here, from blue to pink, that's my diameter. So if I go here, the halfway point, that's my radius from blue to pink for that particular um, part of it. All right, actually, it should be more, um, I kind of drew it diagonal. It should be diagonal. All right, so this is my um, radius. Okay? So, actually, it says it's perpendicular to the x-axis, so I still drew it wrong. There we go. Do it this way. All right, let's pretend that that's in the middle. Okay, so I'm just making semicircles um, from here all the way over. Again, this is par uh, perpendicular to the x-axis. So this would be half of orange. So my radius is half of orange, which is negative 2x plus 3 minus x squared. So that is going to make my area be 1 half pi times my radius, which is 1 half negative 2x plus 3 minus x squared. And that's all squared. Okay? So there we go. So now, what's going to happen here to find the volume, I'm going to integrate, again, from negative 3 to 1, of 1 half pi, 1 half negative 2x plus 3 minus x squared, and that's all going to be squared dx. And then let's say I just plug that in my calculator for giggles, and I'm going to get 13.404, or whatever the units are, uh, cubed. Okay? So the setup is really what I'm worried about for these, because you will have access to the calculator from these. Okay? So key is, find what the area is, and then integrate it. So what's going to happen here is your base, or your radius, is really going to be your variable in terms of your area for your orange. So let's go ahead two more problems try to get this done here in the next uh, six minutes hopefully nothing less than that this one says to set up uh, the integrals needed to find the volume of a solid whose base is the area bounded by the circle x squared uh, plus y squared equals nine and actually whose um, <clears throat> cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis so again we're doing it in terms of x it, who are equilateral triangles. So it's kind of nice where it tells me what the area is going to be of the equilateral triangles. So if I were to go ahead and sketch this real quick, this is going to be a circle of radius 3. So here is my blue circle here. So what are these equations, by the way? If I were to solve for y, I would get y to equal plus or minus square root of 9 minus x squared. So the top part is the plus, and the bottom part is the minus in terms of um, what we're going to be integrating here in just a moment. Okay, so the area is equal to the side. So the side is the circle, which is going to be the top part, which is the plus, minus the minus part, which is the bottom. So this is actually going to create right here um, the side 
is going to be 2 root 9 minus x squared, because we're doing the positive minus the negative, which is going to end up being positive plus the bottom. Okay, So I'm getting 2. So with that, I'm going to get 2 root 9 minus x squared, and that is all squared root 3 over 4. So that's my area. So to find my volume, I'm integrating from negative 3 to 3 of my area, which is right up here, which is going to be 2 root 9 minus x squared. That's all squared root 3 all over 4 dx. And that's it for setup. And then all you got to do from here is just plug that in your calculator. And then for the sake of time, I will just tell you the answer. And there you go. So again, you can just imagine that you just have equilateral triangles from this, from there to there, there to there, there to there. And so if you notice, it's going to start heightly small and it grows and then it gets a little bit smaller as we go. So the highest point would be here when it's from um, right in the middle there. Okay. Last problem, and then um, this is going to be one that's perpendicular to the y-axis. So find the base of the solid bounded by y equals x squared y equals 0 and x equals 2. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch that for you. So I'm going to have y equals x squared, which is going to look like this. Um, y equals 0, which is this line right here, and then x equals 2. So I'll do this. This is the line x equals 2. Alright, so in this case, my orange is going to be right here. This is in between uh, y equals 0, x equals 2, and um, x cubed. Alright, so I want this perpendicular to the y-axis, and I want to set the integral needed for the... Um, okay, it says it's a square. Perfect. So first off, the area of a square is side squared. Not a big deal, right? So we got to figure out what this <clears throat> what this side is. And again, we're doing this perpendicular to the y-axis, so our partitions are going this way. All right, so it's going to be big minus little, so it's going to be uh, magenta minus blue. So what is magenta? Magenta is x equals 2, and blue has to be an x equals, so we got to solve for x. So it's going to be x equals root y. So if I were to solve for x, I'd get plus or minus. The minus is on this side over here, which I don't care about because my orange is on this side, so I'm going to go from um, that right there. So my side in this case is going to be the 2 magenta minus root y. So my area is 2 minus root y all squared. Alright, so my volume it's in terms of y, so my bottom is 4, my top is right, sorry, my bottom is 3, my top is right there, it intersects at 4, of 2 minus root y, all squared dy. And that's my setup. If I type that in my calculator, I'll just get a nice, neat um, 2.667 uh, units cubed. Actually, this up here should be units cubed as well. Alright, and there you go, there's your first chance at dipping your toe into the world of cross sections. The important part is to always find the area and then find the base in this or side, whatever you want to call it, depending on what shape it is, um, by finding what that area of the orange is. <clears throat> and then you just plug it into the integral and it's as simple as that.